What's going on, y'all, man? I'm from Brooklyn, New York. I play for the New Orleans Pelicans. Shout out to Green Basketball. Shout out to Green Basketball, man. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a story that's making waves in the basketball world. LeBron and Bronny, the historic father-son duo that could change the GOAT debate. What happens when the greatest player of all time teams up with his son on the court? We're talking about LeBron James and Bronny James, two names that are not just synonymous with basketball, but with history in the making. Stick around as we explore their remarkable journey and what it means for the NBA. In a groundbreaking moment during the preseason, LeBron and Bronny James took the court together for the Los Angeles Lakers against the Phoenix Suns. This wasn't just another game, it was a historic milestone. By sharing the court, they became the first father-son duo to ever play together in an NBA game. Imagine the emotions, LeBron with his unparalleled career and Bronny stepping into the spotlight, living out a dream that many can only imagine. As they suited up in the iconic purple and gold, the basketball world held its breath, knowing this moment would be etched in history forever. But that's not all. LeBron and Bronny also hold the distinction of being the first father-son duo to play on the same NBA team. This unique relationship adds another layer to their legacy. For Bronny, the opportunity to learn from one of the greatest, his dad, offers invaluable experience that few young players ever receive. LeBron's mentorship on and off the court sets Bronny up for success while also adding a heartwarming narrative to their shared journey in the league. Now, let's talk about the stakes. If LeBron and Bronny manage to win an NBA championship together, it could very well solidify LeBron's place as the greatest of all time or GOAT. For years, the debate between LeBron and Michael Jordan has been heated, with fans passionately arguing both sides. But if LeBron captures that elusive championship alongside his son, it would not only enhance his legacy, but could also tip the scales in the GOAT debate in his favor. Many argue that no other player has had the same impact both on and off the court, and winning a title with his son would add an emotional depth that even Jordan couldn't claim. Could this be the moment that finally settles the debate? Only time will tell. It's bad when you down you ain't got no plan. It's bad when you down and you ain't got no plan. No plan. And you ain't got no plan. Uh-oh. That's LeBron James with authority, and they're standing here in Miami. Now watch, this is flying the skies and wham and jam. Three points shooting out of it. Here's Jordan. Wow! Everyone in this arena fell back in their seat. There's James off the high dribble to the bucket. Serving up a facial. Irving goes to the foul line, finds LeBron left baseline, Ho hangs on to it, flips it up and in. Wow. Cruised around Biombo. He faked like he dunk it. Biombo bit. LeBron stayed in the air for an eternity. He lays it in, and just like that, the Raptor lead has been trimmed to one, courtesy of a 7 0 Get the high two seconds shot. Well, instead, Jordan gets the basket and gets fouled. Showtime. He wasn't even looking at the basket when he went up for that shot. He was looking towards us. <laughs> well, you're going to see this. He just happens to throw it up over his head. Now, just watch this as he spins baseline. He comes into the traffic, just throws it up. Bosch down low against Ray Allen. Turns, little jump hook, won't go. James comes flying in and throws it down. He's got 27 first-half points. James just throws it down. Look how high above the rim he is. Pippen gets it to Jordan. If LeBron and Bronny James win an NBA championship together, it won't just be a trophy. It will signify the culmination of their incredible bond and a historic achievement for both. The world will watch as they strive to make their mark, not just as a father and son, but as a dynamic duo in the NBA. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the James legacy and the potential GOAT debate, make sure to 
like, subscribe. Comments below with your thoughts on this historic duo. Do you think they'll win a championship together? Let us know. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll catch you in the next video. LeBron, just to start with you know the moment Bronny's on the court with you. How did it feel as a father and, and as a player? Uh, not real. Um, still kind of get a little bit used to it, but uh, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool um, for the both of us and especially for our family. It's pretty cool. You just think of you know Savannah watching at home and just that just the thoughts of your entire fa extended family and, and you know I'm sure you'll you'll hear about it. But yeah, yeah, I'll probably hear about it. I haven't got on my phone just yet, but. Uh, I probably hear about it, Bronny. I know Bronny probably hear about it, but it's definitely a moment that uh, that I would never forget, and uh, you know it's pretty cool. Where to be on his 20th birthday? You know, as a father, what does it kind of mean? How how significant is that for you as a father? Well, uh, I mean, for a father, I mean, it means everything. I mean, I mean, for you know, someone who didn't have that, you know, growing up, uh, to be able to be able to have that influence on your kids and have the influence on your son, to be able to have moments with your son. Um, and then ultimately, you know, to be able to work with your son, I think that's one of the greatest things that a father could ever hope for or wish for. So it's pretty cool. You've been kind of speaking this into existence for a while, but but he had to do his part. Yeah, for what, sure. What did you What do you think of the job he's done just getting here, getting drafted to go through the process? Um, I just think you know, for him, just to be able to um, you know keep his head straight forward, um, keep the blinders on, <clears throat> even with the situation last year. He, you know, he came out of that and continue to work, continue to put himself in a position where he can even, you know, be drafted. And, you know, now it's just a work in progress. He wants to continue to get better. Um, he wants to continue to learn. And uh, he's doing it every single day. So, you know, it's great to see. Did you know it was going to happen tonight? Did JJ let you know beforehand that? Yeah, he kind of. Yeah, he kind of have a, a, you know, a notion that he wanted to do. I mean, obviously, you know, the coaches kind of set their lineups and then how the game is going to flow. So. Uh, to have that moment was dope and it was pretty cool. When when you hear like beforehand, I mean, obviously like this is there's only so many things in this game you haven't experienced. Um, <laughs> that was one. That was the fourth, first time for that. <laughs> <laughs> so when he, when he said when he tells you that, um, is that when the the kind of the excitement about it kind of starts? Or are you locked in prepping for a game like it's? No, nah, it's not prepping for a game like it's you know regular. Um, but the moment you know when we came out of the timeout and. Uh, he was picking up full court, and I went up, and because my guy was taking the ball out, we still kind of stood next to each other. I kind of looked at him, and it was just like, it was like the Matrix or something. It just didn't, it just didn't feel real. So, um, but it was great to have those moments out there with him. What'd you, what'd you tell him? What'd you tell him afterwards? Sorry. Oh, um, I just told him to keep, uh, keep getting better, keep getting better. I think, um, you know, obviously, he's young. Um, just turned, like you said, just turned 20. Um, he's young. He wants to continue to improve and. Uh, that's what's most important, you know. So every time you get a moment out there, just continue to do, make winning plays, um, continue to learn from, uh, you know, from his mistakes, learn from the good things, and uh, you know, I don't think if he continues to, to do that, he'll keep getting better and better as every moment, you know, gets, goes on and on. Um, we did some great things, um, you know, um, a couple of things we, we could have did a lot better, um, you know, but we still we still working on habits, you know, so. I like the way we played offense. We shared the ball. Uh, we had some we had some turnovers that you know for myself that I didn't particularly like. But I'm also trying to do some things uh, that's different, um, you know, which is a good thing though. You know, we want to we want to push the ball. We want to kick the ball ahead. We want to be better with that. So, um, but all in all, I thought we had great energy. I thought we was, we paid attention to detail, and I feel like we got better. So uh, it's a win for us. You've been energized by a bunch of different things. You've mentioned you know winning in, in Paris, but having Bronny here uh -huh. through this process. What's that done for you in terms of a day-in, day-out sort of energy? Uh, well, I mean, you guys know my energy doesn't really. Has it kicked it up, though? Uh, I'm, I have a lot more energy than a lot of the younger guys, to be completely honest. Like, True. I, I boost their energy up if you want me to be completely honest. But, uh, you know, to have your, like I said, to have, you know, your son or a relative, if you work with them, I don't know if any of you guys have ever worked with them someone that you was blood with or some, whatever the case may be. It's just, it's a different feeling. You know, when you go to work every day, you want to, you know, try to, you know, help each other. If it's a bad day for him, you pick him up. Vice versa, if it's a bad day for me, pick me up. So like, that's just, you know, it's things that we, we can can do, you know, that doesn't even need words. We could just look at each other and know like, okay. So yeah, that's pretty cool. You guys ever play together like this? Like even in no. just no. the summertime or anything? Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we, I mean, a couple times. Yeah, yeah, we had some runs. A few times that we played, um, you know, but not like you know, obviously not like this. This is 
this is professional basketball. This is the, the pros. So um, this is totally different. And um, but it's definitely something that uh, is not being taken for granted for me. Um, you know, and uh, I will hope the same for him as well. All right. Appreciate it, guys. And share the court. Wonder what it was like from your perspective, and if you had had the idea that that was how it was going to go down in the second quarter. Um, JJ told us we were going to be playing together. Uh, he shared that with me early in the day, so I was pretty psyched for that. But you know, I just got out there and felt like a normal game with my teammate. To be honest. Yeah, that, that first quarter, you know, Lakers look pretty sharp. LeBron, year 22, looks like he's still in his prime. And, and so as you're watching from that standpoint, are you viewing him kind of like as your, just as your teammate? Are there thoughts that come in where, okay, he's also your dad? And then once you get out there, how do you kind of stop thinking about that and just think about, okay, where's the defensive rotation? You know, where, where, where do I go on this play on offense? Um, I'm always thinking about, you know, that's my dad because that's – my, literally my dad uh, <laughs> so I just go out there and you know he's when I'm playing he's just my teammate that's all I'm thinking at that point Brownie like you know since you I think probably I mean this is a moment people have thought about for a long time um, I know it's a moment your dad's thought about for a long time to to kind of I don't want to say get out of the way, but but to ha to actually have it come to some fru fruition, um, were you able to reflect on it like at all um, at any point in time today, uh, either before in anticipation or after? Nah, I'm just just being prepared for another game that I'm, you know, going out and trying to play my best at. So I'm there's no. I mean, JJ told me that we we're going to be playing together, but other than that, I wasn't really thinking about you know me being on the court with my dad, just preparing for the game and the game plan. Have you been, have you, when you've spoken to us about this, you've been very actively focused on the basketball part of it because that's sort of your, I mean, that's your job right now. Um, have, have you been surprised at, like, the reaction from everyone else about the rest of the story and, and maybe trying to pull you away from the basketball part of it to have you talk more about the moment and the meaning and all of that stuff? I haven't really been surprised for me because it's been happening for so long. Um, yeah, I just, you know, just trying to live in the moment and, you know, do my job and find my role. Uh, Bronny, just for yourself, what, what did you think of your, your second preseason game and, and getting crunch time reps at, with, with the young guys and, and just kind of how that went overall? I felt like it was good for me to, um, you know, end the game. We have the opportunity from JJ to end the game. Um, but yeah, just getting those reps in every game and, and trying to find my role. Uh, that's my you know, main focus every time I go on the court. First off, happy birthday, Thank Ronnie. You. And also, um, you know, 20 years old, you know, you're stepping onto the court, second game. Did you feel a little bit less nerves from this game? Like, what, what were your feelings like going into this game? And then as you kind of, um, you know, as the game progressed, what, you know, how did you feel in terms of just shooting ability and just um, the flow of the game? Um, yeah, there's always some nerves. Um, Especially just preseason, it's the first of you know the season starting. Um, but you know, once I step on the court and go up, up and down a couple of times, it goes away. Um, shooting ability, only shot one shot, so it's not much to say about that. Um, but yeah, just again, just trying to find my role and play as hard as I can on the defense end. What's JJ been like as a coach for you so far? Um, he's really encouraging. Um, especially for younger guys um, like myself, uh, just trying to, you know, push us into something that uh, down the road can, you know, contribute to a winning team. Bronny, your dad has been talking about this moment for a couple of years, speaking it into existence. But you had to make it happen on your end. Can you just just talk talk about your own journey to get here and getting through college, all your, the health situation last year, and in camp now to make this happen? Um, just finding, you know, fuel every day to get up and start working. Uh, that's, the, that's the biggest thing for me. Um, just taking everything that, you know, has happened to me during those uh, year and, and some change. Um, and, you know, just just getting up and continuing to work every day. You no, know, it's just been two preseason games, but between the exhibitions, camp, and you know, summer workouts, is there an area, specific area of your game you feel more comfortable with or you think that's grown the most? compared to, you know, the end of the college season? Um, JJ has really emphasized that defensive end and being, you know, a pest on, def on defense. Uh, so that's, 
just what I've been trying to, you know, focus on when I'm stepping on the floor. Last two. Hey, Bronny, what do you think enables you to stay in the moment and so even keel through everything? Um, to be honest, I can tell you. Don't know. It's a lot. It's a lot of stuff going around. Um, just trying to focus on, you know, what my job is and what I'm supposed to be doing. I feel like that's the thing that keeps me grounded. Last question. Well, first of all, happy birthday, my dog. Sure. Um, one thing I really liked is just defensively, picking up 94 feet, you know, blowing up screens for you. I know that something that you really did a lot of in, in high school. I know at USC you didn't get a chance to do that, but how have you been feeling in terms of getting back to the basics and doing that, picking up 94 and, do, and blowing up screens? Yeah, it feels good. Um, getting back into, you know, game shape. Um, you know, again, JJ just told me to be as disruptive as possible. Um, you know, forcing me to, you know, disrupt the ball and pick up uh, 94 feet, disrupt the ball screens and stuff like that. Um, so, yeah, I'm just trying to focus on, you know, what I can do my best, my role is best. And, um, yeah, it's been, it's been pretty good. <clears throat>